Hello my friends and subscribers, my name is Alexander Stepanov. In this amazing video I will be showing you how to transform these nails. And I will also continue the popular part of my program, beauty test. And we will also spy on Russian nail technicians. And we will find out what problems do they face now. So let's get started. You know guys, I tried to make this video maximum detailed because I want you to see each detail, each my hand motion. I'm showing you the easiest way how to make nails easily using simple and safe products which have no too much smell. And at first I want to show you the main thing in manicure now which is becoming the basic thing. This is the flame drill bit. We have different modifications now of this drill bit. But I definitely choose this one. Because it's not too much lengthened. Because I know guys you have read a lot of topics about hurting the matrix of the nail plate. And when nail technicians get very deep under the proximal pad. I just want you to know that the matrix is located 10 millimeters below the cuticles. And especially this flame drill bit doesn't have a long shape and it will never hurt the matrix. And once the manicure and alignment nail plate are done, I'm proceeding with removing the skin using high quality scissors. You know, this one is really trend the, of the manicure in Russia. Because as you can see, they have cured blades and blades are very long. So this helps us to remove the skin, the cuticles without any problem using only one cut. Only one very smooth and neat cut. And also you can use both tools, nippers and scissors for working with difficult cuticles, as you can see on my video. Because it's easily to remove the skin from hidden places when you use nippers with short blades. Okay, and once all manipulations are done, I'm proceeding with primering nails. I'm using both gel primers of the brand Canny and of the brand Iris K. They are all give us the perfect result of preparing the nail plate for nail extensions. Please don't forget guys that you should prepare the nail plate with the primer before you apply forms on the nail plate. Because if you don't do that, especially if you are the beginner, you can accidentally touch the nail plate of the client with your oiled dirty fingers. But if the nail plate is already primered, this way the nail plate is protected from any touching. Make sure after placing the form that it is placed perfectly and it doesn't move to any place and once this is done we can sculpt the length of the nail and today I will be showing you how to sculpt the perfect shape of nails which name is pipe. You know I have never showed before this tutorial on my channel I mean the tutorial of the pipe's shape of the nail and as you can see at first we should apply the length of the nail and simultaneously I am covering the nail plate with a thin layer of the same gel. Sometimes you can use the sculpting mix gel like the base coat. But you shouldn't forget provide primering before that. Because the sculpting mix layer like a base gel is not strong too much than the base gel. Please pay attention that each coat of sculpting gel we cure in LED lamp in 1 minute or 2-3 minutes in UV lamp. Please don't apply thick, very thick layers of gel because 
any lamp you've got will not cope with curing thick layers of sculpting mix gel or any other gels except for the clear gel. And as you can see, I have applied the next coat, which thicker than the previous one and this one have provided the stress zone for this nail. So we just need to cure this layer in lead lamp at the same time. And once this is done, we remove the hand and cleaning nails from the tacky layer. You know, guys, you asked me a lot of times which way of shaping and filing nails I do I prefer. So, guys, I strongly suggest you to try out this barrel drill bit because you can see how easily this drill bit is working with this nail. All you need are correct motions which will help you to remove thick layers of this gel and some remaining gel, spilled gel in some areas. Anyway, it's much faster than work with the file and I only using files only for fine work. This carbide drill bit has very large and hard toothing and the dust never crept into toothing. So it provides the long work of your tool. You know, I can talk about this drill bit forever because I have two of my favorite of drill bits, the cone drill bit and the barrel drill bit. They are best sellers in my store. And we have the special price for these drill bits only for $7 for each drill bit. And you know, you can be sure that they cost their prices. And even in some Slavic countries, this drill bit costs more expensive because these are strong deficit now. And when I started my practice 10 years ago, that times I have no chance to try them. So I had to struggling with bad quality drill bits because they really burned the nail plate and clients were screaming. I had problems even with removing the gel and the nail design. And honestly, guys, I just can't imagine how can a lot of nail technicians now are working with low and small toothing drill bits because their efficiency is too low. So, once our filing is done, I'm proceeding with making fine work using my file of 100 grit. And also, guys, you ask me, why do I use two high toothing drill bits and two hard files? I think it's easy to understand just because I'm doing gel nails. I'm working with polymers. And, you know, it's not easy to work with gel or acrylic nails using the high grid file, for example. And I think that professional nail technicians will understand me because we need to apply a lot of work in a short period of time and in case when we use and in case if we use for example soft files and drill bits our work will be endless so I, I just can suggest you guys if you want to work quickly and easily with gel nails I suggest you to try out high toothing drill, uh, drill bits and high grid files and you will see that you will do your work faster and you will have more time for applying the nail design. So I have a question for you guys. Which part of doing nails do you like more? Uh, sculpting nails or the nail design? Because, because for example, my brother likes more sculpting and shaping nails. And for example, me, I prefer applying the nail design. But sometimes, time after time, I like doing experiments with the nail shape. So right now, let's continue with the best part of our work with the nail design. And at first, I just want to prepare the nail for applying double French manicure. So we should apply the first coat of the base gel. It will provide us the best quality of the line, the thin line, which will help us 
to draw the smile line of the French. We should cure this layer in lead lamp in 30 seconds and after you shouldn't remove the tacky layer. But if you suddenly do that, it's not a big problem. So the main thing that the nail plate is not sharpened, the base gel has provided the smooth layer and as you can see I'm proceeding with applying the thin layer of uh, the black gel paint of the brand Bagheera. Now I prefer working only with this brand room nail gel paints because they provide very thin layers of the coat and I need only only one coat for uh, for applying smooth and clean layer and as you can see this gel paint is not bubbling but it's better to apply thin layer because you can face with the problem when your lamp is not coped with thick layer of the gel paint all colors of gel paint that I use are presented in my price list you can read the price list right now it's in information box under the video so open the price and make a list of products that you need we have fixed price seven dollars for each product also in the information box you can find my email so you just need to send this list on my email don't forget to write down your address and telephone soon i will answer you later and tell you the sum that you need to pay on my PayPal. You guys can be sure that you are protected. Because when you pay $9 for the shipping, this sum also includes the insurance. For example, if the post lost your package, I send you the next one in the next week. I doing it just for make you sure that anyway you will be satisfied with products and tools that you have ordered in my shop and as you can see guys now i'm using the princess gel paint mixed with the arctic snow gel paint so i have achieved amazing very nude pinkish color and i'm using this color for applying the second line of my double french manicure you can mix these gel paints but you should remember if you want to make nude color you should add more white gel paint and just a little bit of the color gel paint I have one more question for you guys please tell me is it popular in your countries to make nails in nail salons or to make nails at home because in the past it was popular to make nails at home I remember that days when even the beginner nail technician was considered as a specialist and the professional. We had no the army of nail technicians that time. And we also had no competition. For example, I could work at home and people accepted any prices. They liked all new and I was like a king in my city because everyone knew that only I can draw amazing flowers and there were a lot of people who wanted to visit my home studio and I remember that days when I just waked up and after started doing nails and made them from the morning to the night it was something like the rise of the nail industry Clients were really calm, creative. We always tried to make something new, tried to experiment. They didn't follow any trends like people do it now. For example, following the Instagram trends. And we could create really new, brand new nail designs that time. And you know, nail technicians that time were re really rich but now everything has changed so now this is the trend to visit nail studio especially in St. Petersburg or in Moscow where there are a lot of nail technicians work together 
in really bad conditions. And sometimes it seems that they are workers in the factory because they have to work all day and sometimes even with no breaks. And they have really no time for create something. And now they are all tired. In the end of this video I will tell more about problems that Russian nail technicians created for themselves. And let's come back guys to our nail design. As you can see now I'm applying the detailed painting for this bowl. I'm using the acrylic paint, I have mixed it with water for applying thin lines. And after the paint is dry, we should to cover the nail with the top coat. As you can see I'm using my hardcore brush that I have made by myself and this one helps me to apply easily the top coat for these nails. Don't forget to cover the side walls and the tip of the length to protect this nail design from splitting, breaking and other problems. I hope you like this shape of the nail I have made and I hope you like the nail design. Let's take a look on the result. And as you can see guys, I have applied this nail design only on the one nail. Just take a look how beautiful it is. We have amazing double fringe with elegant bow. And I have spent only 15 minutes for making this amazing nail. And I think the process will take uh, about 2 hours for applying two hands. And I think at first you should try to make only one nail. Because it's not easy. I think the hardest thing in all process is to to file and shape this nail. And my training kit will help you to make it easy. You can order all tools and products right now in my store. And it takes usually two weeks to get it. And now I'm proceeding to the next topic, the next part of my video. Beauty test. So what's the point of this project? You guys send me photos of your works and send me on my email. I will examine your works and give you feedback. In my each video I will review your works. And I think that this is the best way to improve your skills and knowledge. Because I will making special schemes to show you your mistakes. And I hope I will never bring you down with my comments. So guys, let's get started. Okay, as you can see in this video, a lot of people send me their works. But as always, when I see your works, I see the same problems. I try to mark the main problems. And one of these problems is the problem with the composition. You guys should feel the measure. You don't need to cover the old nail plate with the same flourishes, decals. I think it's okay to place these elements only on the ring finger, following the diagonal line, for example. And you'll see, this way, the composition will be elegant. But some nail technicians are still trying to cover all nails with everything they have in their cases. And while the process, all these things maybe look nice. But after nails are done, these a lot of things can quickly get bored. And client can decide finally, remove your gel nails. And the next problem with your nails, when the length of these nails looks bended downwards and nails seem like claws. This way I can tell you guys your nails made incorrectly. 
because every time your file client nails you shoot the product on the length of the nail to pick nails up so at first we should remove the nail design and the remaining gel perfectly prepare the nail plate with the primer and with the base gel and after we should place the drop on the length of the nail plate and after we're sculpting the stress zone and when this is done we should remove the tacky layer and remove the gel from underneath of the nails and this will help us to pick bended nails up and in case when the nail is bended too much we should remove the length of this nail place the form and sculpt the new one so as you can see in the beauty test there are two works with the same problem with banded nails and the next problem when you shape side walls of nails not to the limit I mean your nails sometimes look like barrels to solve this at first you should fill the file and you should keep the file hardly and strongly in your hands especially when you shape the nail and you should keep it strictly perpendicular don't move the file from side to side only up and down but strictly perpendicular only this way you will achieve the smooth sidewall that's very important when you shape square nails so the next problem when your nail hasn't arch although a lot of clients like square shaped nails with no arch I have a lot of clients with the same view but I have persuaded the majority of them I told them that archers are more elegant and they protect nails from breaking and the public nail industry says that this is the correct way of sculpting square shaped nails I mean a lot of competitions use the arch square shape of nails as the basic thing of evaluations and of course you should try to make nails maybe a little bit similar to competitive nails and if you ever send me nails like this I will always examine them and tell you that I, I want to see arches on square shaped nails and one more thing that I solved in this video is uh, the combination of colors you applied on nails are not good just please try to ask yourself do you want to have the same nail design on your hands on your nails that you want to apply on your clients nails I think this way you will refuse to do a lot of nail designs that you will never apply on your own nails I know sometimes we like experimenting on people's nails but you should know that the client will look on this nail design the whole month so guys I can give you an advice not to experiment for example with red and purple color with their combinations and also the combinations of blue and red are not always look good but you can combine soft colors in any way you like and for example soft flowers decos flourishes okay guys and I want to pay attention on the last thing many of you don't like drawing the French manicure I mean the smile line but this is the most important thing you should use the high quality gel paint at first you should train your hand to the maximum for example using tips nail tips it's not 
necessary to make them matte if you apply the gel paint on them. At first you need to take thin brush number zero. Don't forget to cut some hairs around to make it thinner. Take a little bit bla uh, gel paint on the tip of the brush and neatly align the brush on the nail plate and carefully draw the smile line. And after cover the length of the nail using the flat brush. And guys, you will see that you can do that, it's very hard, but you can be sure that maybe after two or three hundred tries, I will tell you guys. Yes. Can see but you when you dance, 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 feel a good, good creeping up on you. So just dance, 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 come on. Hello there. My name is Alexander Stepanov, and I'm your secret agent of the nail industry. As you can see now, I'm removing the front camera from iPhone and hiding it into the glasses. I will use this tool to learn some high-end technologies and secret information from Russian nail technicians. This time, guys, I will tell you about the serious problems of Russian nail studios. It's popular now to place in nail studios large pedicure thrones. Maybe they are looking wild, but they are becoming the usual thing in Moscow studios. I think people forgot that the pedicure cosmetical or medical thing. It's not sterile to sit on someone's nails and pieces of someone's skin, because these thrones are made from cloth. And it's not real to clean these thrones to the limit and remove all the dust. And even not the professional will understand me. And this is crazy to see how girls and women are making selfie when they're sitting on the throne with bending over nail technician. Do you know what it is like? Tell me guys, who are you? Personally, I don't want somebody to shut me when she's sitting on the throne and while I'm working with her toenails. Who was invited these thrones for nail studios? The inventor of these thrones is killing your backs. And after a year of working this way, Nail technicians will start visiting doctors with problems with their backs. Because these thrones are not intended for professional work. You should always use only special medical pedicure anchor, which will provide the safe work for your back and which you have clean easily with the cloth and the special liquid. Please guys, tell me your thoughts about these thrones which are popular now in nail studios. Have a nice day! See you in the next video!